Russ Wood, who ventured from his Pelham, New Hampshire home in 1983 to run the famed Port City track, would become an integral part of Oswego's race scene and a legend in the sport in the years to come. Russ and his wife, Lisa, have a daughter, Lisa, and a son, Russ Jr., and they currently reside in Pelham, New Hampshire. Russ came to Oswego in 1983, driving the Joe Barry 01 Super. It was a beginning for the young team. They had fun, and Russ got his feet wet in the Supers for a few years. He later signed on with car owner Jimmy Timmons to pilot the number 27 Super Modified in 1985 with help from Eddie Shea. It wasn't until the early 90s that the team began to run full-time at Oswego. Russ's first of his five Oswego feature wins came in 1993, and his then-car owner, Ed Shea, was named Car Owner of the Year at the season-ending banquet. But one of Wood's greatest achievements at Oswego was in the International Classic. In the same year of his first feature win, Russ would finish second to Eddie Bellinger in the 200. One goal that Russ was never able to accomplish was a Classic win. He won the Star Classic, the Sandusky High Miler, but was never able to capture the International Classic at Oswego. While racing at Oswego through the 90s and early 2000s, Wood was also racking up accolades with his wing car in Isma. Just a quick look at Wood's fantastic Isma record is yet another awesome achievement for a driver. Russ racked up eight Isma championships over the course of two decades, in 91 and 94 in an Eddie Shea-owned car, in 96, 97, 99, and 2002 with the Paul Dunnigan team. In 2010, Russ and Jeff Holbrook were ISMA champs. And in 2011, Russ was the driver champion to Vic Miller's owner championship. Russ still stands second in the all-time ISMA win category with 54 behind Chris Curley. He is still one of only a few drivers, nine at last count, to have won both winged and non-winged features at Oswego. Russ's final race was originally in 2013 at Star when he had a bad accident in Danny Sewell's 32. Russ would not race again until this past year when he showed up at the last minute to drive a Lang Racing backup car at the Star Speedway Classic. Much to the delight of the large crowd on hand, he started last in the 97 car and drove through the pack to finish sixth and picked up the Hard Charger Award. Wood still works full time. His father started the Woody's Auto Repair and Towing business in 1973. Brothers Brian and Russ bought the business seven years ago. Brian, as an aside, still holds the track record at Star Speedway set years ago when he raced alongside his brother. Son Russ Wood Jr. did follow his father into racing somewhat, driving a midget and starting into modifieds before heading south for work. His son is now back in New Hampshire after a few years out of the seat, and they still have a modified that Russ may work to get back on track in the future. Russ also does not discount running a few more Star Classic events now and then, but he admits he doesn't have time for anything else. He's tired and worn out. Congratulations to Mitchell Speedway Press, Oswego Speedway Hall of Fame inductee, Russ Wood.